You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. We face the greatest Sith in generations. They must be stopped. Hello, YouTube. This is Luke V2 Lightsaber. We have some exciting news today. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake is a legendary tale remade on PlayStation 5. Let's talk about it. For right now, I'm just going to read the PlayStation blog article, but I'm going to link it in the description as well as uh, you know, show you screenshots and everything and also, uh, of course, link the teaser trailer in the description as well. So this PlayStation blog article was written by... Ryan Treadwell, he's the lead producer for Aspire Media, who are making and producing the project. Along with, of course, Lucasfilm Games and SEI, they're remaking the classic RPG from the ground up for the modern age. So, uh, let's take a look at this article. A pinnacle of Star Wars Legends storytelling, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is set over 4,000 years before the events of the original trilogy and introduce a new story of heroes and villains in an epic struggle for the fate of the galaxy. The team here at Aspire and Sony Interactive Entertainment have joined forces with Lucasfilm Games to bring you a remake of this classic Star Wars adventure. We're rebuilding one of the greatest RPGs of all time for a new generation with modern tech, features, visuals, and more, while maintaining the integrity of the story and characters that we've come to cherish. And it's a console exclusive for PlayStation 5 at launch. I guess at launch being the uh, important uh, thing there. If you're not familiar with KOTOR, as you'll see fans lovingly refer to it, then you're in for a treat. The original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic was truly groundbreaking. It was a truly groundbreaking achievement. An award-winning RPG of incredible scope, immersion, and ambition with an epic narrative to match. A diverse cast of characters to meet, multiple planets to discover, challenging battles to fight, and cinematic storytelling that responds to the choices you make. It's no wonder that to this day, KOTOR remains one of the most celebrated video games ever made. Why remake Knights of the Old Republic? Well, nearly 20 years after it first debuted, the original KOTOR is still one of the most beloved games of all time. And even as Star Wars travels to New Horizons, we know the community is eager as ever to return to this iconic era of storytelling and action. With Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake, our hope is to give both series newcomers and long-term fans an experience that can live alongside the very best modern releases. We're building it from the ground up with the latest tech to match the groundbreaking standard of innovation established by the original, all while staying true to its revered story. Aspire has assembled the very best talent from across the industry to create Knights of the Old Republic Remake. Industry veterans who have worked on great RPGs, as well as some members of the original Knights of the Old Republic development team. That's awesome. Their knowledge and passion for these characters, this story, and this world is unmatched. And who, just who is Aspire? You probably know us as the studio responsible for giving us multiple Star Wars games to modern systems, including Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy, Episode 1 Racer, Republic Commando, and yes, the original KOTOR. We've been working closely with Lucasfilm Games on classic Star Wars games for years, and that experience has instilled in our team a deep love and respect for these timeless titles, as well as a unique perspective on how to carry them forward into the modern age. We're proud to be collaborating with Sony Interactive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games to bring this dream to life. So what's next? Knights of the Old Republic Remake is a tremendous undertaking, encompassing almost every aspect of the original game. We're still early in development, but we're happy to finally have announced the remake and hear the PlayStation community's thoughts on what we're excited to see. What you're excited to see. I'm very excited to see this. I don't know about you guys, but uh, (laughs) 
whether you are new to Code Tour or one of the millions of fans who already know it and love it, there's a great adventure ahead of us. We can't wait to show you more. And, of course, as fans, we can't wait to see you more. That's awesome. So, just some of my general thoughts. Of course, I think this is amazing. Uh, I actually got into KOTOR, uh, I guess it was last year. Um, I, Of course, I had always heard about it. I knew the story. I mean, I've had friends who love it and have played it. But um, I had never myself played it until... Well, actually, it might have been earlier this year. I think it was very early this year or late last year. It's right around, uh, you know, maybe December, January, something like that. But I was still just blown away at how <laughs> amazing of a story it was. Like, you could just talk to so many people, get everyone's perspective. The lore was there. You could just learn so much. You could, you could just be on there for hours. And I literally was. I think. The playthrough took me like maybe 50 hours or something. I put a lot of time into the game and I could have put so much more time into the game. It's just crazy. Um, just games of that era. I mean, yeah, of course they were getting longer and longer at that time. But um, just the amount of detail. And they put so much work into that. And uh, so I can only imagine what they can do, you know, with new technology and everything putting everything into it that they can now i'm extremely happy that um a lot of the original team well at least a, a de you know a few of the original team is still there from aspire and of course you know this they're a studio that is very familiar with star wars material uh i mean obviously i they listed their credentials there Lucasfilm Games and Aspire Media combining their talents once again can only be good for the fans really. I think this is exactly the thing Lucasfilm Games needs to get going because um, you know even though LucasArts was you know their own entity for so many years I think Lucasfilm Games really needs to hit the ground running and I think this is the absolutely perfect project to do that. And I would imagine this is at least probably two years away, possibly even more, just with how the gaming industry has been lately. But, um, you know, that's completely fine. I think fans are willing to wait for, you know, a good experience. You don't want to give them the uh, Cyberpunk 2077 kind of thing, or, you know, you don't want to put out a game that, you can only, like, for example, on KOTOR, say you can only go to, like, three worlds or something, and then, like, the rest of them are DLCs or something. I don't think that would fly. They they really got to take their time on this, and I think fans are willing to wait that extra bit just uh, to make sure everything is completely done and uh, polished. And just one more thing I wanted to state. I'm assuming the, the character we heard was Bastila. You know, she's definitely one of my favorite characters. It definitely sounded like a different actress, which is absolutely fine. I think, you know, probably they should get somebody younger considering, you know, the original game's almost 20 years old. So uh, it seems like they're going to do largely different casts. So very exciting. Um, I don't really have any objections to that whatsoever. I just thought I would note it definitely sounds like a different actress, like think she's using it has a different accent there it sounds like to me anyway i'm not an ac accent expert but sometimes i try to be so yeah uh, tell me all your thoughts um hopefully uh people seeing this would be new to the channel so um if you're interested just take a look around this is my first kind of like real news video i've done like a lot of uh, meme type stuff i've done a lot of um like lightsaber hill it's like metal replica lightsaber hill reviews that sort of thing so if you're into that sort of thing please uh subscribe and uh please check things out i'll, I'll definitely try to follow up on this topic in the future like news wise just because it is a topic that is so interesting to me and i know it's probably so um interesting to you you guys really want to see this come out so um I'm sure you guys are all looking forward to the Knights of the Old Republic remake just as much as I am. Um, yeah, so please consider subscribing. And this has been Luke V2 Lightsaber. And may the Force be with you.